Welcome everybody to our little Bible study and I trust that our time together will really bless you and be a great benefit to you. Today we're going to talk about why Nebuchadnezzar's dream um, was had such long legs <laughs> and what is God's will for our life. Before Jesus Christ returned to heaven and ascended up, he told the, his apostles, I'll be back. Ye, and he also told them, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. Matthew 10, 23. So where is he? Why hasn't he returned? He's not sitting in Jerusalem right now, and the apostles have died. And he said, you know, you will not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come back, be come. So this is, this puzzles me for a long time. And so I finally found the answer, and I want to share it with you. So. Ancient um, history is a record of what people have done with the time God has given them. And ancient history be of man began in the Garden of Eden at 400, I mean 4000 BC, before Christ was born. And then <clears throat> the um, Nebuchadnezzar statue has to do with the head of gold. Um, the chests of silver, Medio Persian, oh, the other one was Babylonian Empire, and the Medio Persian Empire, then the Greek Empire, and then come the long legs, and the feet of clay and iron, the legs of iron. And then Christ is going to be that stone that's, that's going to break the statue into little tiny pieces that the wind will take away and set up his own kingdom. So um, I found out that the answer is that the legs have been interrupted. So um, the legs have been interrupted and they, the body, uh, the legs ended there and there was an interruption and then the legs will start again. Because God has inserted the mystery. Notice over here that the cross and the coming of the Holy Ghost was on this side of the of mystery. On the prophecy side. And so here we are in mystery now. And what happened? The Lord Jesus Christ appeared to Saul of Tarsus, who is Paul, one year after he ascended and saved him. And he, Saul of Tarsus, you know, is Paul. And then at the end of our, of the mystery, um, the Lord Jesus Christ will appear again at the rapture to rapture the body of Christ. And that will end this group that's going to live in heaven. And then he'll restart his program with those who will live on earth with the tribulation and at, he'll have his second coming and that's when he'll set up his kingdom and um, he'll rule for his first thousand years and then um, there'll be some little more events and then the great white throne judgment so this type of Bible study is called Mid-Acts Pauline Dispensational Bible Study and to be really specific, it is mid-act 9. Mid-act 9 because the body of Christ began in Acts 9 with Saul of Tarsus being saved on the road to Damascus. And he was the first one into the body of Christ, and he will be with us at the rapture. So this is what Peter said. He said in Acts 3.21, whom the heaven must receive until 
the times of restitution of all things which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. And this is what Paul said. Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began, but now is made manifest, Romans 16, 25, and 26, 8. So something kept secret since the world began is different from something that was spoken since the world began. So now we're still trying to find out what is God's will. So he gives us instructions for how to study the Bible. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, 2 Timothy 2.15. So we're supposed to divide the word of truth. All the Bible is truth, and we divide the truth that belongs to the body of Christ from the truth that belongs to Israel, or those people who will live on earth, from those people who will live in heaven. So God gave progressive truth saying different things at different times. This is dispensational Bible study. A, a dispensation is a time when God is dispensing different instructions to different people. Sometimes a dispensation is called a world. So here is God's will. Who will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. 1 Timothy 2.4 So the knowledge of the truth, you know, he wants you to be saved. And by believing 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. But once you're saved and you have received his imputed righteousness, um, his spirit, then he wants you to come to the knowledge of the truth, which is what he's doing now. He's forming the body of Christ during the dispensation of grace to live in the heavenly places. Now, Galatianism is mixing Peter and Paul. We can't mix the instructions for those who live on earth with those of instructions for those who will live in heaven. So we live in a new and different dispensation, formerly kept secret. So what is, um, you know, the glory plan? The glory plan of God is to exalt the Lord Jesus Christ far above all principalities and powers. And the kingdom of God is made up of both heaven and earth. And he has different instructions for both of those groups of people. And he is the head of the body. And the body of Christ has thrones, dominions, principalities, powers, mights, and every name that is named. And he's trying to fill those positions, positions right now. And he's also the high priest king over Israel that also has thrones, dominions, principalities, powers, mights, and every name that is named. And after he gets finished with us, he'll find out who's going to help him in those different jobs. Because this is the mystery of his will. <clears throat> Having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he hath purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. So he'll have that one <clears throat> kingdom of God, and everyone will have his spirit in him. And, um, you know, you want to be sure that you get into the new heaven and the new earth. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this video was a great help to you and a big blessing. God bless, in Jesus' name, amen.